kids. Welcome to Veggie Tales. I'm Bob the Tomato. And I'm Larry the Cucumber. And we're here to answer your questions. Hey, Bob, you remember the ballad of Little Joe? Uh, yeah. Wasn't that a great show? W well, sure, Larry. It was terrific. You just gotta love westerns, don't you? Well, you don't have to, uh, I suppose. But I do enjoy a good western every now and then. Great. Today's letter is from Wesley Thomas of Carlsbad, New Mexico. Wesley writes, Dear Bob and Larry, can you do a sequel to The Ballad of Little Joe? Your friend, Wesley. Uh, Larry, that's a nice letter, but we answer letters for kids who are having moral and ethical dilemmas. Ethel who? You know, kids who have questions about what's right and wrong, who want to know what the right thing to do is. Exactly. So to Wesley, I say, a sequel to Little Joe is the right thing to do. But does the letter say anything about having problems listening to his parents or, or losing interest in school? No, but now that you mention it, I did get this one from Mr. Sammy Tidwell of Brentwood, Tennessee. Dear Bob and Larry, don't miss this exciting opportunity to take advantage of our low interest rates. Who's screening your mail? No. Look, Larry, I'm sure a sequel to The Ballad of Little Joe would be nice, but, uh, well, listen here. Dear Bob and Larry, I fight with my brother a lot. In church this week, I learned that I'm supposed to be loving, joyful, peaceful, patient, kind, good, gentle, and self-controlled. I know God wants me to be all that to my brother, but I don't think I'm strong enough. What do I do? Your friend, Elise. You see, Larry, uh, that's the kind of letter we answer on the show. <gasps> Wait a minute. I've got the perfect story for Elise. Y uh, you do? Yep. It's the story of Mo and the Big Exit. Uh, Mo and the Big Exit? Or as the Indians called it, the Lone Stranger. Either way, it's Little Joe Part 2. Roll film! Wow, Larry, you were right. That was the perfect story for Elise. See, I told you. What a great story about God's strength and following his directions. Come again? Uh, you know, God's strength, uh, the whole point of the story. Oh, yeah, but I was thinking about the whole fighting with the brother thing. Elise is having a problem fighting with her brother, just like Mo. Except his brothers mostly fought with him. What's your point? Well... All Elise needs is a big stick. Come again? Yeah, he should leave her alone then, don't you think? Larry, that's totally not the point. It's time to talk about what we've learned today. And so what we have learned applies to our lives today. God has a lot to say in his book. If the stick doesn't work, a dodgeball might. No. You see, we know that God's word is for everyone And now that our song is done, we'll take a look Larry, that was the perfect story for Elise's question because it was about God's strength and following his directions. When Mo did things his own way, he just made things worse. To free his people, Mo had to rely on God and follow his plan. Oh. Yeah, and there's that, too. Let's see if Cordy has a verse for us today. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and I am helped. Psalm 28, 7a. So we can call on God to help us and follow his directions when we know we can't do it by ourselves. Just like Mo. Cool. So Elise, you're right. You aren't strong enough to do everything God asks you to do. Neither was Mo. But just like Mo, God can give you the strength to do what he asks. If you let God be your strength and follow his directions, you'll be amazed at what he can do through you. And Wesley, you asked for a sequel to Little Joe and, well, you got one. Two for one. How about that? You know, Mo's story reminded me a lot of the story of Moses in the Bible. Oh, yeah, now that you mention it. But it was a little different. In a Western kind of way. Yahoo. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Remember, God made you special. And he loves you very much. Goodbye! Bye.